This is one of multiple videos showing you how to use Ostianado for crafting packets in a GNS3 network. So I'll double click on the cog, I'll go to advanced, and what I'll add here is another uh, VLAN. I'll put that after the Mac field. So what we've got now are two uh, VLAN numbers. And what I could do as an example is specify multiple VLANs, VLAN 20 and VLAN 20. Click OK, click Apply, and click Play. So what's happening now is that a double VLAN tag has been added to the frames. So if we look at the Wireshark captures, this is the link between the Ostia Nardo node and the first switch. You can see that there are two 802.1Q headers. We have double tagged the frame. On the link between the two switches, scrolling right down, we have double tagged the frame. There are two 802.1Q headers here. I'll stop that transmission and I'll show you another option. Ostionado allows you to use stacked 8 to the 1Q frames. So rather than doing it the way that I showed you, what we've got is an SVLAN. Notice the Ethernet type is different to standard 8 to the 1Q. So it's 88A7, whereas this is 8100, and IP version 4 is 0800. So it's as simple as that to do a stack of VLANs, but that's not gonna work in the same way in this environment. Now, one of the reasons you may wanna send frames into another VLAN is to knock out a device on that VLAN. Traffic won't necessarily be able to get back to you, but you could cause problems in a separate VLAN. And what we've proven here is even though we've been taught at CCNA level that VLANs are virtual local area networks that separate one LAN from another, it's possible to hop from one VLAN to another and circumvent the security in a network. Be paranoid when you implement networks. Always think about the security and how you can lock down your network and make it more secure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel I wish you all the very best.